Hi, my name is Julie and I'm with the Pigeon Letters design team. Today we are going to be painting a minimalist abstract, uh, mixing shapes with colors and some botanical line drawing, and I can't wait to share that with you. Okay, so these are the supplies that you are going to need to make our little minimalist abstract art. Um, I've chosen these two watercolors, Indigo and Burnt Sienna. So um, if you don't have these exact colors, go with what you think looks good. It's just a, you know, a deep blue and sort of a burnt orange-ish brown. <laughs> um, if you just hate those colors together, I mean, feel free to make this your own. You can do whatever feels right to you. Um, you're gonna need a watercolor brush, an eight by 10 piece of watercolor paper. Um, I'm using a round 10 brush. We're just kind of doing some really basic shapes. So, you, I mean, it's not much detail. If you have an, uh, a six or an eight, that's also fine. Um, you're gonna need a monoline ink pen. This one, it's black. Uh, this is the Pigeon Letters pen, which are fabulous. They're waterproof and fade proof, which is great. Uh, and this is an opaque white gel pen. If you don't have one of these, um, you can use white paint or um, like a Sharpie paint pen, um, whatever you have on hand. All right, so first thing, you're gonna get your water and we are going to do a little bit of the indigo. Um, I know this is a really saturated color, so I'm just gonna kind of bring it over to the side. We don't want it too dark. Okay, and as always, I've spilled on my <laughs> canvas, so we're just gonna do this and wipe it off over here. Okay, anywho. All right, so we're gonna make sort of a half circle shape about, find the center and then kind of come down at an angle from it. So it's gonna be a straight line here, and then the half circle will come this way. So again, we're using this really watered down and we're just gonna do a straight line here and you can always make it darker, okay? And then a half circle doesn't need to be perfect. Um, and if you feel that it does need to be perfect, I mean, feel free to sketch this out first, use a compass, um, you know, outline a cup or something. I just personally don't care. <laughs> I love imperfect circles and things that are a little bit more organic. So when you get it a way that you're happy with, go ahead and rinse your brush off. Um, the, next, the next one is going to be the Burnt Sienna, that orangish brown, orangish brown color. Um, and again, we're not doing it super saturated. You don't want it full, full strength. And for this, we are going to do a circle, um, a, maybe more of an oval. In, an imperfect circle, I should say. And like I said before, if that bothers you, <laughs> you can do a perfect circle. Um, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start here. We don't wanna blend it just yet. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit of the color on there first. I did blend it a little bit, but just a touch. <laughs> okay. And then just keep adding more water to it and kind of let it flow around. 
All right, then you're gonna take a little bit of the color. Once you have most of it filled in, um, you're gonna take a little bit of the color, work it around the outside, and just bring it and bump into your blue down there. You can give it a few little taps to kind of bring the colors together too. And with this one, you can keep messing with the shape of either of them. Um, I don't know. That way it doesn't look too much like a hot air balloon. <laughs> I don't know. But you, you want to be happy with them. Just you probably don't want to mess too much with this um, middle part right here. These two colors, they look cool together, but they'll also get really muddy if you try to actually mix them together as opposed to just kind of letting them bleed into one another. All right, so this is our watercolor portion. Um, you guys can go ahead and pause the video. You want this to dry completely because we're gonna come in with a monoline pen and we are gonna draw some leaves right up the middle here. All right, so go ahead and pause it and I will meet you guys back here when it's nice and dry. Okay, so now that your paint is all the way dry, um, you'll see the way that it's blended. Um, this spot here, the reason it looks like this and this here is that I added clean water to the paint. If you hate that, that's fine. <laughs> just don't do it. Um, just use just the paint, mix it in a little bit better. I personally like it because I think it adds a little bit of texture um, and interest to the to the really basic shapes. So what we're gonna do next is your leaves. So we're gonna start right about up here and we're gonna go down to this part. Uh, when I start these, I like to do the very top leaf and then the little stem, just kind of so I can give myself a base for where I'm gonna be working. So you're gonna start at the very bottom of the leaf and do a little C curve and then a C curve back. Okay, so that's the top one. And then I'm gonna bring it all the way down to about here. So we're just going to go back and forth, leaves here, 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 all the way down. And again, I'm not really on the perfection team, <laughs> you could say. I like when they look um, a little bit different, a little more organic. Um, you can make these as precise as you want. I just happen to like things that are a little, a little off and a little weird. <laughs> as you get to the bottom, just start um, making them a little bit smaller. Okay. I'm gonna add one more little guy down here. All right. All right, last and final step is your white gel pen or your white paint pen. Um, and this is just gonna add a little bit of fun to it, I think. All right, you go ahead and start over here. I'm just gonna do a few lines on this side, on the indigo. I'm gonna go over it twice to make it a little thicker. All right, so I'm gonna do three there, and then right here in this little spot, we're gonna do some circles, little dots. And I'm gonna make these a sort of mirror. This is sort of a circle shape. This is also gonna be the opposite of a circle shape. Give it a little bit of symmetry without even trying. All right, and that's it. You have yourself a beautiful, minimalist, abstract piece. All right, 